Orleans and New Orleans where CeeLo is headlining the show. We caught up with the superstar to chat about all things green. So CeeLo, you just flew in a couple of hours ago. Your, your schedule's been pretty hectic lately. Great payoff though. Hard work, party hard too. We're right here in New Orleans, which is an amazing party city. New Orleans has a great vibe. My excitement about performing at the Allstate uh, function tomorrow is just not knowing what to expect. I have a very, uh, a very unique and peculiar, you know, uh, <laughs> um, audience. Now we were downstairs at rehearsal. I saw a few members of Goody Mob down there. What's going on? Oh well, you know, we've been, you know, reunited for the last year or so, you know, formally and working on a new album. I'm really a team player. And um, ultimately, I'm the only CeeLo Green in the group. You know what I'm saying? So this still works. So season two of The Voice is coming up really soon. You uh, are actually going to be working with a couple of guest advisors, Neo and Babyface. Neo is like a, a younger version of Babyface. He's like a, um, an impresario, if you, will, if you will. Like, you know, he's a singer, songwriter, performer, producer, arranger, and extraordinaire. Of course, um, you know, Babyface is his resume, and all of his accomplishments speak for themselves. So how do you usually prepare for a live performance like this? Do you have any kind of special ritual? I uh, give it a bit of thought, a little bit of medication. I mean, sorry, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> a bit of medication, uh, <laughs> <Polybian> <laughs> split. <laughs> I, I, I don't do much besides give it a little thought, give it a little meditation, and just kind of breathe and settle into it and say a little prayer and do a little dance, make a little love, and get down tonight.